Okay, guys, welcome back. Now, I'm going to do one more spin pull, and then I'm going to put this puppy piddle pad away. Because I figured if I get it out and I set it all up, you know, with the piddle pads and everything, I want to get a few uses out of it, and then I'll put it away and I'll stick it under the table until I decide I want to bring some blooms out. I want to get back into the blooms as well. But anyway, today, spin pour. Now, um, I'm using my little spit cup again. Now, when you wash these out, these little bottle brush things are really good because you can, you can get in there, fill it up with hot water, not too hot, but hot water, and soak it. And then before all the paint dries, clean it out with these. These are great. I just get them on eBay. I get everything on eBay. I'm an eBay girl. Right, so I'm going to go with my um, split cup. One, two, three, four, five, six compartments again. Um, and I'm going to go with, I'm going to just do blues and greens today and black and white. So white, phthalo blue, turquoise blue, phthalo green, lime green, black. Those are my colours. They're all the Montmartre Studio Acrylics. You've seen them before. I don't need to show it to you again. I'm going to layer these and then I'm going to take them off. I'm going to flood the canvas with my black and um, we'll get going. So I'll start layering and then I'll tell you about what I'm, I'm doing. Um, I'm going to try for smaller layers and more of them. So maybe five, four or five layers. Okay, so I've got my black and my white on the outside and then the other colours there. And then the next layer, I'll just move down one, same order. Next one, move down one, same order. Okay, so um, same pouring medium. So that's covered the base. Same pouring medium as last time as I do for all my ring pours. I use the 70% glue and the 30% water. I like having it nice and thick. And I've told you that a million times, so I probably don't need to keep on about it, but for those of you that maybe haven't followed me or haven't seen my many of my ring pour videos, you need to have it nice and thick so that your rings will stay in shape. Because if your mix is too thin, the rings will just be all wobbly they won't stay in shape okay so that's the black now we'll start again but we'll miss that one and we'll go to the next one but same order so start with the white <laughs> bring this a bit closer to me so I don't have to stretch over so much so same same as before but just starting one over okay there's the white I'll try and be quick you guys blue I'll try and remember where I'm up to. That one. Green. Lime green. So the lime green's going on the black now. And then we do have the black on the white over here, but it should be alright. Okay, so white again, but now we come over three. Go white again. Fast forward, you guys, if you don't want to watch this. Uh, well, totally understand. It's not terribly exciting, but some of you may not want to know how I achieve the look in the end. And then we go the lime over here on the black. And then, oh, see, this is not going to work. Now I'm following the, I'm going to skip one because... Uh, I'm going black on white on all of them and I don't want that so I'll just skip you for a minute. Mm. I'll have to have a think about what I want to do over there because I don't want the black on the white on each one of them. Oh, this is working. So now I've got the, I don't know, <laughs> put some of that in there some of that on there okay, and I'm going to go back in with the black because it's no longer on the white I don't think it really matters you can change it up I probably lost my lost my little rhythm now but that's okay um, what am I up to I don't even know what I'm up to now that had navy in it last time Gosh, I can't remember what I'm up to now. Uh, I'm just going to fill cups. 
I'm just going to fill cups. Okay, that'll be the last one there. Might as well finish you off. So because my layers are going to be a little bit thinner, um, my colours may blend a little bit more. And also the other thing I want to do is I want to take my time with the actual pouring of the, the rings um, and have like a smaller, maybe not smaller, um, I want a thinner thinner rings like not quite as big rings I think can't remember what I've got in that one down there let's put some more white in you and you can have a little bit of white on top of you and that finishes you off there we go Now this cup, the flip cup holds, well, not a flip cup, I guess it is, it's a um, split cup, way uh, holds, just I don't know what I'm talking about now, I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm doing, holds 500 grams or 18 ounces of mixed paint. I'll put the link in the description of where I got it from, they were kindly donated to me, so I will repay the favour and put the link in the description box for you. Some black. That's enough of the black. A little bit of the lime left. I know it's a bit time consuming, but it has to be done. Of these people that just you know starts the video and goes oh here's my layered cup let's go like seriously <laughs> well not for me anyway I want to see from go to woe what people have done how they've managed it you know so if you want to create the same thing you want to see how the cup was layered you know and how many layers there are and what colours went next to each other and so forth and so on. It's you know it's how you learn. So for me, just someone saying, oh, here's my layered cup. Yeah, I'm not interested. I'll move on to the next video where I'm, I can, you know, maybe learn a bit more about the whole process because I'm still learning. Every day I'm learning something new, even though I've been doing this for like, what, three or four years now. Now okay, I can put a little bit of black in this one. And then I think we're done. That took a while, didn't it? Okay, so pretty much all my cups are full. So yeah, um, I've got them, I mixed them 70% glue, 30% water, and then equal parts of um, pouring medium to my Montmartre. If you can't get Montmartre, it's a similar consistency to maybe Liquitex Basics or Amsterdam. They're all a very similar consistency. That gives you an idea. And I just mix that one to one with um, my pouring medium. So I had 50 grams of pouring medium, 50 grams of paint, so 100 grams of each. Which actually gave me 600 grams of paint. So actually the cup right to the top must hold more like 60, uh, 600 grams. I guess if you fill it all the way up, it must hold 600 grams of paint, not 500 grams. If you want to know what 600 grams is, just divide it by 30 and it'll tell you what it is in ounces. Let's give this a bit of a spin. Just on my little cake turntable underneath. It's hitting the sides, but I don't think it's actually going over the sides. No, it hasn't. It's hitting the sides of the puppy piddle pad, but it's not really going over the edges of the canvas. So let me just do that with my gloves. Nice and easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now someone said to me the other day on the comments, 
below the video. What happens if you don't put the black down? Well, actually, no, what, what did she say? She said, what happens if you just leave it as a big puddle in, and don't level it? Um, I'm, I'm not that, I'm not exactly sure. I haven't done it. But I would think that when you pour your colours into a big puddle of black, um, the black will really take over. Um, I would be more inclined to pour it onto a big pile of maybe a, a white cloud mixture, which I will be doing at some stage, a big puddle of white cloud mixture, um, and see if we can get some clouds coming up. But, you know, you're not going to get your defined lines if you're of colour if you're going to be pouring it into a big puddle of black. The black will just take over, I'm thinking. But, hey, have a go, um, and you can let me know. All right, there we go. Right, <clears throat> I think I've told you everything I need to tell you. Now, are we still taping? Yep, <laughs> there's my big cup full. So, because it's so full, when you start pouring, a big blob comes out. But then as you tilt your cup, you can um, get closer and closer to the canvas. So, I'm going to, I always pour anti-clockwise to my left and I'm going to tilt spin the canvas also going left okay so that's what I'm going to do a little bit of water in there I left it in the sink full of water <laughs> and then I thought oh no I need my cup so I quickly had to rinse it out but uh, it was still a bit wet okay here we go are we ready so remind me remind you I'm going to do smaller rings water sitting on the top there smaller rings and um <sighs> tilt slower okay here we go so we go for it Ooh, some dripping on the bottom of the cup so i'm going to see if i can get a smaller little thread sort of coming down and that way i'll get smaller rings Thinner rings. Ah, the cup's dripping on the bottom. Now I'm just going to concentrate. I might not talk too much. Surprise, surprise. Okay, now I'm getting a bit closer. So the rings are going to start hopefully getting a little bit more round. It's much more, oh goodness, it's much more tricky when I'm trying to make a, a thinner, there we go, when I'm trying to make a thinner circle. I'm just trying not to pour as much out. I'll get into the rhythm of it in a second. Once my cup starts emptying. A little bit more. It's really hard when your cup's full and it kind of just wants to flow down the side of the cup. I'm just keeping my hands still in one place, or trying to, and then just turning the canvas. Hopefully my hand won't cramp too much. Now I'm going to start moving my hand a little bit. Towards me, I'm just a little bit off center now, a little bit more towards me. Just so I can get that feathering look in the center, which I love. I'm going to keep my hand there.
to kind of break through the other side. Oops, now I'm moving my hand. My hands, I'm following the canvas. I need to come back to where I am. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, goodness. I'm losing the plot with me turning the canvas. I didn't realise my hand was moving so much. I think I'll just stay here now. Hands starting to shake, getting the shakes. Have I got that sort of curved feathery look? I can't see. I'm hoping I have. Because I'm looking at what I'm doing. Did I get like a curl and then break through the curl onto the side? Hope so. Just gonna have to stay here and hold this here. It's nearly done. I'm gonna get all those gorgeous colours out. I don't wanna waste them. But if your hand starts shaking too much and you think you're gonna drop it, because your hand can cramp you're holding on to it for so long. When you get the tremors, then just whoa, it's shaking. <laughs> I have to stop. Oh my gosh. Let's catch the drip. Oh, look at that. I didn't do a very good job there, did I? Oh, dear, oh, dear. <gasps> Love that, though. I don't know what happened there. I think I moved the moved the canvas. But you start there, and then you kind of come around here. But you keep that. You keep that gorgeous bit, because that's the gorgeousness. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, my arm's sore now. Just a bit upset I've got that wiggly bit there. Never mind. Look, every time I think I want to try something and it doesn't work out. Never mind. I'm sure it will be gorgeous. Love those. Look at the lime. I love the lime in there. I had a different colour green and I thought, mm, I really want some lime. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's spin this baby, hey? Um, and we'll see whether or not we're going to keep that or not. Don't know. We'll see. As I said, that's the main area there that we're looking for. But I may keep a little bit of the other. And the other thing, like you know how I spin one way and then I turn it the other way and spin the other way? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to spin one direction. And see what happens just with the one direction spin. And I've said it before in other videos, don't stop the canvas but don't stop it suddenly and it'll jerk and then your your lines will go off center and they'll be wiggly so just just be patient and wait okay so the next spin i can probably take that little the middle bit off so i don't like that middle staying on there i like the the curve of it i just don't like that end bit there so almost covered now there's something in there as usual, there's something in there. Let me see if I can get it out. Because if there's anything in there, it'll stop the paint from moving, from flowing. And it's probably just a piece of unmixed paint. Like a blob of paint, but it oops, it needs to come out. I get it? I don't know. I don't know. All right. Um, and same direction again. And hopefully we'll go over the corners this time. I can hear the paint hitting the side, so I know it's moving off. Don't stop it. Let it go on its own. This is why you'll be careful not to spin too hard because it just goes and goes and goes and then you know you might overspin it 
and the more you spin obviously the more your rings open up and you may not want them to open up so much you may want them to stay you know quite close together I'm loving it only thing I don't like is this blue line that goes along here I'm just going to spin one more time just to get that bit of blue off there I don't mind it staying there I just don't want it down there all right so one more little spin just to move that blue off oh there it goes oh I'm getting dizzy looking at it all right now stop I want you to stop now when you don't it's really hard not to put your fingers in there and, and stop it but try and resist the temptation um, because as I said your lines won't stay nice and round and curved like this so you can see when my black touched my white I've got like a gray there which I guess isn't ideal but I guess it gives a contrast otherwise everything would be exactly the same color so it gives that contrast there of the the black and the white with the gray oh I love that look at that <gasps> look at that corner there all right there we go I'm leaving it just like that yay oh my gosh I love it I love it I love it now fingers under here look at the zebra stripes I'll have to show you the sides in a minute look at zebra stripes coming down and I can just move this and I don't have to move myself I can just move the canvas catch the drips underneath so that it stops the paint from continuing to be pulled off the canvas like that oh wow <gasps> I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, let me just pack up these cups and then I can take off my dirty gloves. Bear with me. Clean up my mess and I can take my gloves off. All right, let me chuck this. Chuck it in the bin. Take my gloves off. Woohoo! All right. Wow, look at it. Do you like that one? Or are you over these? Are you over these? Let's go and have a little look. Where's that corner I love? There it is. There's the corner. How pretty is that? Now you're most likely going to get a few cells pop up here and there. Just from the different densities of the paint. There's nothing you can do about it, really. Unless you make your paint super, super thick. But then you might not get the, the pretty little wisps that you want. little lime up the end now look look at these look at the colors aren't they amazing so we've got kind of a yellowy happening there where the white and the lime green are mixing it's more of a a yellow tone and then we've got little bits of black in there look at that goes down so three-dimensional isn't it it's really pretty 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 I was going to show you the sides wasn't I here we go look at the sides my zebra sides really pretty whoa there's the puppy pedal pad of uh, the puppy pool in the way And then I took, that was the side that I just took the, um, that blue off. I don't mind the bit of blue at the top there. I just didn't want it on the side. Let me turn that ring light off. There we go. Never know whether it's good to have it on or off. I struggle with my lighting. <laughs> oh gosh, my hand's still shaking. So there we go. Let me know what you think of this one. Wouldn't it be nice in reds and oranges? I know I've done red and orange. No. I've done green. I've done green and red and orange. It's down there. And then this was the one I did just before the other day. It's still wet. Just slide it in there. Um. Yeah. I love these colours though, they're really pretty. And I had a bit of a wiggle there. <laughs> Don't look at that bit because it's interesting. It's 
it's not as um, symmetrical just along there. All right, um, I'm going to get cleaned up, put the pool away, get my resin stuff out. And I want a resin project that I want to do, so I'll do that. I still haven't got it exactly the way I wanted it. I'm just trying to think what I want to do. I come around there and then I want to, I think I want to come up and break through here rather than break through down there. Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. It it just does what it wants to do. You can try and create what you want to create, but it just does what it wants to do. It's a lot of blue in it, isn't there? I just wasn't sure if that blue would take over or not. I guess if you didn't want this here, you could spin it off and then you would just have that. But um, I don't know, I, I kind of like it. It gives a little bit of more interest to the whole thing, a bit of depth, don't you think? All right, I'll leave it at that. Love you and leave you. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. Love you all. And uh, I'll see you real soon for the next one. Okay, bye for now.